What did he? He mainly bought like Solar Crest and stuff in those games, right? Solar, yeah, as his first item. Just wants to amplify the damage early on. Mid is very difficult so far for BZM, as we kind of had a feeling it might be because of that armor. I mean, one armor. Topson just hits him, and oh, look BZM. how much damage. He might just die. He's gonna get brought very, very low. He's got a fairy fire and the uphill miss comes into play. So a bottom lane, that's gonna be where the first blood action happens. 33 and 9, they're able to chase down Kitrat, caught out of position. Okay. Top, Top lane. This time round, they will get the kill, but it cost them Skeeter's life. Skeeter going down for that effort on taking down mind control. I think Tundra will still be happy with that. Snaking's gonna be very farmed, very high level up here now off of that kill. Bottom, they can't touch 33, just way too durable. Yeah, he's always able to walk back to the tower, he's got 15 one shots. Ooh, nine though. I mean, let's see if this is enough. Stick, Fairy Fire, he's got the sap. Yeah, good, good placement there for Yuragi. Make sure he can swing over, get a few hits in with the flak. Good aggressive play from Kitrak. I mean, he identified, he's like, I can just dive on him actually, and get that little bit of extra slow, so. I see done. And yeah, it, I, I mean, I don't think he deviates really from the build. I was looking at all the pub, pub games that he did play, I don't think he ever went anything different besides like one game where he specifically needed uh, like an MKB. It's always just Solar Crest, Dragon Lines. Top, Skeeter. Let's try and chase him down, Skeeter. He's gonna he's gonna just stand his ground. <laughs> he just turns and takes down Mind Control in a few swipes. Can they get a trade? One more Fire Spirit. Dodged. Uh, well done there with the Earth Shock. He's out. Skeeter will live. Tango's passed over. He'll be fine. Seb might be able to find. The angle, oh, oh, so close. It's a little bit too far away for Seb to be able to step in and get in with an enchant totem slap. Skeeter's fine. They're actually looking over towards Kitrak, who's dive still on cooldown. He's dead. Tundra finding another kill out of this bit of a, of a, a brawl up top. And at the same time, 33 and 9, getting a bit aggressive onto Yuragi under the tower. He's alone. So they know that Kitrak, he's going to be respawning shortly, but his TP is going to be on cooldown. But they're calling for Seb. Yeah, Yuragi's going to try and run down 9, 33. See if we can do anything to help Nine out. Snakings turns up. Snakings level out. five. This is a nine three out. ink swell. I mean, Yuragi's got to hide. He's trying to hide in the tree line, but 33 is in on top of him. Closing the gap. The ink swell won't quite catch up to Yuragi. They'll look towards Seb first. Seb's got stick charges. Won't keep him alive. Missed out. I mean, 33. They get a kill. He actually gets cleaned up. Yuragi. I think Snay hesitated on the detonation of the ink swell there. He could have definitely caught the two of them, but uh, indeed wanted to sort of max out the damage. He could, I guess just wait for the longer period of yeah. time. But that allowed Yuragi to step out of range. Snaking is getting... I mean, he's going to be super high level, though, off of all this. He's nearly level 6 on this Grimstroke because of the kills that have happened. Top BZM. Should be fine. Orbs back up. Nine swinging across, making sure that BZM did not get the power in. Haystrin picked up by the Bane. Oh, he splits uh, up. Get track. Here. He's already used the dive, so will be an easy one for 33. With the primal split, kit rack, nowhere to run. Nowhere to go. Nine, making his move back bottom. How healthy? 33 was pretty healthy, right? Yeah, he's full HP. And what's the build gonna be for 33? It's a minus. Oh, he's got it done, and they will take out MC. Tundra getting a lot out of these now, lanes. Yeah, the, the Skeeter's getting these kills set up for him. Three kills already picked up in the laning stage. I will see if Tundra get caught in positions where OG's able to capitalize on that. If they, and that's the big thing, it's if they land the wombo combos and if they're able to prevent people from hitting like this egg in particular for Kit Track, it's not the easiest Phoenix team at all now that there's an Earth and a Clink. Topson. Topson. He's getting aggressive here. I mean, he knows that these two heroes just do not threaten him whatsoever. And he's going to just be able to get himself a power wound versus like, three heroes. Kit Track. The dive. It's on cooldown. They can't quite get in range with the stun. Topson getting in position so he doesn't get caught by any of the fire spirits. And he's scouting out the back. Seb. He'll settle for Seb. Gets the skeletons out, and Seb, he'll be going down. <laughs> he high-fives him, <laughs> tries to at least. He's so tanky. This is like a 1,400 I mean, HP clinks. They can't go for it. around with Kitrak. He's bought time for 33 to swing over. They will still end up getting Kitrak again. Oh boy, they get Tundra. the two of them. Nine to four, Tundra turning into the, the absolute killers that we know them to be here in this early 10 minutes. The tower is getting brought low. Bottom tower also already has fallen. They're bringing, they want to try and fight this. Drag is in on the mid, step, trying to step in for the extra time, he's able to close the gap, gets in on top of Topson, nice only tumbler. missed on inbound, they'll take down the clink. <laughs> he tumbled right on top of him. Yeah, always the Earth Shaker classic, that, that neutral item. Nice. You've got to be prepared for that. It feels like pretty much any time you see a Shaker coming at you, he's probably got a Tumbler's toy ready to play with. Did they get the deny? No, Topson did commit for that last hit, was able to claim it. But I, I like that Yuragi swung over, honestly. Like, he gets himself this last hit, super valuable, and he gets himself a little bit involved inside of the game, too. I like that they brought the, the gyro as well. But now Yuragi might just go down. Yeah, 33. Chasing him down. 
And with the ink swell, not a chance. Another kill for 33. The bruise <laughs> game just continuing. So it looks to be on track to hit some incredible timings. 2300 gold in towards the, the relic on top of his Midas and urn. This, this bruise is going to be a problem. One. Oh, yeah. He's going to be the carry. Tab. Also likely to fall. Can he get away? Oof. Oh, God. The swing from the brew is coming in. That was in. close, yeah. But if he gets this Radiance done, it's, this brew is going to be quite the problem right for the team fight of OG. Because if OG try and commit for the team fight and they don't get these instant kind of kills at the start, then next thing you know, this brew is going to be turning around the whole team fight. Did 33 really just get that courier with the illusion there inside the base? Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Seb will be found. Topson. Let's try to go in on this. Snaking's able to set up onto the two of them with a leash. Topson's in in the mid, ready to lay down the damage. They'll take down Kirak. Wall is there. Topson heals up, standing his ground against BZM. Will fall, though. Here comes 33. Topson down. 33 and Snaking look more than capable of getting a cleanup kill onto Mind Control. Diving oh. under the tower. Another kill. More gold here for the Brewmaster. Topson, I mean, they took it so long to kill him that 33 is able to walk in and just get involved as well, too. He's still so tanky. And yeah, I mean, 33, of course, as we, as we saw, also took out some couriers with Illusion in the midst of it all, too. So gold continues just flurrying in for Tundra. Skitter, Skitter actually has his, his, his Battle Fury's done, and now he's getting yep. aggro on your Augie. They're getting all these kills, and their Ursa's getting all this space. Fiend Script, it's there. Oh, boy. Another kill for the bear. This early game is out of control already here, 14 to 6. And he has found already some really good connections with his spells, as we saw in that leash. Seb. The blink, I believe, is actually about to be finished up. So overall, his is good. And they, as we said, the, the wombo combo is theirs if they're going to be able to connect it with this pesky Clinks scouting them constantly. Seb, he's going to get caught out. He tries to get in to do a bit of de-warding, but Topson and Snaking have been playing around this area for quite a while. This jungle of OG, just not a safe space to be. Your Yuragi's pretty far up in the up. mid. Oh, he is super dead. They've got the nightmare set up. Topson and Snaking coming in from the side. Yuragi will get the cooldown off. But Topson, he's also got a shield rune. He just stands his ground. Yuragi goes down. A dangerous part of the map to be in, but as you saw with it, sort of how Tundra's been able to take over the jungle of OG. It feels like Yuragi, he's just, he's just running out of spaces to farm in. They're going for Skitter. The Roche is starting to get it set up for here. Okay. So maybe this is the team fight that they can actually get. Nine's in position to, to hold the high ground. They're too scared to now. This area. They're actually going to turn and settle for snaking. Sure, they don't have to use ults, but it still reveals what the plan is. And it's giving space for Tundra to take the Roche. And so. here's 33. Do you want to fight into this brew? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I think at this point, OG, they probably want to bail out of this one. They're going to drop the wall. Okay, he gets a Radiance Illusion. Not bad. Now, OG, what's the plan? Because Tundra, they're coming running at you. And Skeeter with the Aegis. He does not mind if he gets caught out the once. 33, he's going to pot the ult. And he's able to walk away. And they've got the grip on BZM. Oh, the man. setup's there for nine. Thompson's in with the damage. BZM's out. It's full retreat here for OG. Step will drop down the slam. It's enough to bring down nine. But the Supernova is kited out. That's their ult committed. And they did just find nine. Nobody else to fall, not even able to take the Aegis out of their hands. So Skeeter find the setup to land this yeah, one more combo, combo that they've drafted for. Yep. When Tundra, they're the team running at you, and they're running at you, as we saw in that situation, just from all angles. Yeah, and MC, he prioritized going for like the Surge Max. That's usually the build that you kind of have to, so he doesn't have the Max Vacuum yet. So that's going to take some more time before they can land that huge combo that they Zep. need. Going to try and jump in for the kill onto Nine. The charges are there. Nine, he will fall. Seb. In return, he's, he's going to lose his life. Too much damage flying out for this Clinks from range. And now with the Soul Bind instead of they're going to try and look for more. Skeeter steps up. See if the two of them can get out. Orb is there. BZM oh. going to jump to the side. Mind Control also with the Surge. Nope. The Earthshot comes out for Skeeter. They still bring down BZM. MC. Mind Control, he'll have to drop the wall in an attempt to slow them down as he is, he's doing his best to escape. Topsy, could he find the hits? Not quite. Not quite. I mean, Mind Control will live, but BZM. Going down. Look at Thompson though. Immediately finds another oh, he's target. Ready for Kirak. Kirak dives away. Barely survives. Oof. Jeez. Relentless aggression. Relentless pressure from Tundra. 19 to 9. This is not the Tundra that people are used to seeing from all the other old days where it's just, you know, a bit of sit back and farm. Not at all. 9,000 gold lead. They're completely oppressive right now. Yeah, BKB done on Skeeter, so he's <laughs> pretty much untouchable. And look at Kit Track. He's going for like a D War. Topson's just there already. He just found him and before in the triangle and he finds him again. And then the map's just not safe. Nowhere safe. OG cannot get out anywhere on this map right now. He's pretty much got the full death, so. 
on the top stun. Nice, massive. And now he has the attack range talent as well, too. Another shield brings like, yeah, we've had oh, a couple boy. of times where he could just go and he could frontline. You can't go on this clinch, he's too tanky. He has 3,000 life yeah. with the shield run. BZM, the orb on cooldown, one second. And he steps here, but I don't know how much step can do. Silence comes out, nothing to be done here by the Shaker. They might, they might still hunt for BZM I and mean, Topson constantly on the prowl. I mean, if he uses orb, he did. It's going to be the vulnerability. He actually opens up onto him a bit too soon, so BZM does still have the chance to jump away. Okay. Topson, he's going to continue hunting though. Of course he is. Has another orb. This time round, is this going to be enough time to go on him? Oh, it's definitely for the point enough. Gate. Let's see, can he get out? Oh, yeah. Okay, he's tanky. That was yeah, a this time round. Here's nine though. But nine is waiting for him. Orbs back out though. I mean, they're really what? They're really going for BZM. We should be able to get out. Okay. And space is crazy. That was right before the Deso got delivered, I think, right for Topson. So snaking it does have the shard now, so they do have a way to get these dispels and stuff like yeah. that. Thompson's hunting, he's gonna get jumped, step! In with the Echo Slam, they're dropping the wall, they're dropping everything Big here combo. to take down the clicks, and they'll do it! Big now kill. bring down Topson. And the position they're in, absolutely worth it there for OG to just throw everything down on the clinks, get him out the game. Definitely worth it. They still have Coil in their egg as well too, so even for the next upcoming one, they could look for a small little engagement. Good connection there from Seb. Still the potential definitely there. AC done on 33. Tundra. It's go time. They're, they're, they're very much feels like they're ready to go for the killing blood. Oh yeah, level 18 on the brew as well too. Uh oh. I mean, they see 33 here, but they know... They my control. Can they really go on him? I mean, my control. Well, managed to get the surge off. Thompson, he's going to want to dive into the base for this one down the bottom. They did go on to 33, but he gets the split off. They're still trying their best. They're dropping everything. He's way too and all. They can just... He can walk away from this. Oh man, he's level 18. It's the it's the level three split. He's actually just running at the mall. So, the kid track now. I mean, they might not even all get out. The kid track is definitely gonna go down unless he can get the TP off with the sun ray. All right, off he goes. Okay, not bad. Can Seb get out too? Okay. All right. I right, they expanded everything though, right? Or actually, no, they still have coil and shaker slime, but they did use the they used the, the egg. egg. And Topson's still hunting. Oh, he is, and he might find something here because. Seb. Seb. Oh, TP cooldown. Has got blink up though, so. Okay. Won't continue to hunt along the tree line for him. They'll just focus on getting the creep waves pushed back in against OG. Roshan is going to be back up in 20 seconds. Should be a pretty free one for Tundra. Topson set set up for BZM. Has got eyes on There's him. There's a feed grip. The grip from the high ground. Just so much scouting. The wards that they've been able to place, the aggressive ones in Snay, but I mean, top, as we say, the invisible ward just running around the whole game. I mean, will Tundra make mistakes on the high ground push? <laughs> will OG be able to capitalize on them with their, with their team fight? It's feeling unlikely. It's feeling but unlikely. It's... I mean, 33 is just going to be the walks. Look how far that they're sieging from. He just hits from. the buildings. What are you going to do? You want to go on this brew? No. I right, look how tanky it is. Sending in the, pan the storm panda. I mean, Skeeter's ready to go in. He's, He's gonna on be Kitrak. Able to find in the tree line, and he'll get him. Kitrak not able to get the supernova off. And the Raxit's dropping. Look at these brewings. Now look at this clinked. Oh my goodness. Fishing out the damage. Hex is now delivered, so another further catch. That's going to be a real nightmare for BZM to deal with. And BZM is just going to get caught by the jump of Skeeter. He's able to get the phase shift off. Fiend Strip is there on the step. They'll drop the wall. Back him onto the two. Dream Crawl as well to follow things up. They'll take nine out. They're not going to get Skeeter though. 33, full HP as he walks away from this. Hex will try and jump forward, but he tops and responds immediately. Instant Hex to come out. Step, he'll offer up the buyback. Skeeter's in, closing the gap, or at least attempted to do so onto Uragi, but will get kited out. Mistel's going to be heading the way of Skeeter, but Skeeter does still have Aegis. Ink Swell as well, too. Can they even bring him down the one? Skeeter, he's in, he's got the BKB, he's ready to pop it on this life to full commit on towards Uragi. Search from, B from Mind Control to get Uragi back. The turn of the Fisher, they bring Uragi. Skeeter down the one. He has 15 Fury Swipe stacks. Hex on the Mind Control step, he's going to jump in with the Enchant Turn to try and stop Tops from being able to get the hit onto Mind Control. Supernova's out, Tundra, they'll kite it. Backing out, resetting all ultimates from OG now committed at this point. Tundra got what they came for, full set sure of did. racks. Sure they lose the Aegis, they don't mind. They can get back to business, dealing with the rest of the lanes and continuing to just grow this lead. Tundra might not have the Aegis anymore, of course, on Skeeter, but I, I don't feel Ooh. like that. I feel ne the necessity to sort of slow the game down. They can absolutely nope. look to push once more. And BZM. He is very on the far cliff. forward. Skeeter jumps in and put together the Eon disc. 
Vashers will catch him, but he is still able to jump out. Can he get away? The Ute Street caught on him back at nine. Nope. In with the snipe. The psychic headband and the ether lens coming into play there as the brain snap. Finish the BZM off. They set up a trap for Thompson. Okay. Works. I mean, in a game at this point, they'll take a Topston for BZM trade with how far ahead Topston is. With the racks. It's falling. It's falling fast. BZM, he does not have buyback available. Look at the brew, just kill it by itself. I mean, what do you do? Just watching 33 destroy your barracks. They got a glyph for it. Can they even finish off the earth brewing? Look at it go. They'll they will. It. They'll All keep right. their axe alive, but only just. And the temptation is going to be there for Skeeter. Oh, he, the he, oh, he wants to go for it. And he'll get it. Jumps in, finishes off the melee racks. And he knows he's safe because he had that ink swell coverage. Yeah, and there's no puck. There's no dream coil. Nice leash from Snay. Prevents them to chase. I mean, Nine could be thinking about going back in. Does have Fiend Scrim. Looks like they'll kite OG out of the base for now. Try to kind of draw the fight into more favorable position on the map for Tundra. And there it is. There's a jump back in. Snap will go forward with the Echo Snap. But he doesn't do anything. Barely does any damage at all. Skeeter's perfectly fine. Gets the old off in the BKB. Supernova not going to catch Skeeter with the stun. Skeeter. They're trying their best to chase out the Ursa. Another drag back with a vacuum missile inbound towards him. Fisher catches onto the two of them. He's Jump stuck. For instead, they get the Dream Call follow They'll be able to take down Snaking. And they'll shoot, they should be able to get Skeeter. He's standing his ground a little bit, but will not survive against the five of them. OG finally able to find some sort of a punch back. Really smart chase. I mean, the Primal splits down, and they know there's no clink. So they're like, let's go and get as much as possible. 33 actually just ditched his team instantly. Started running mid to hit the rack. So he identified this is not a fight that he wants to be a part of. Good I mean, kills. It's something they need a whole lot more of it. The smoke oh, yeah. up, OG. And he's got, what, 20 talents as well, too, so the Bleak Flat gets another connection. But the Hex is very quick with it. He might still die. They have to Dream Coil. Is there any help for Topson? There's not. They bring the clinks down. Also find nine. A couple of good kills here for Yuragi. Yes. If they can chase for more, jump forward from BZM. He's got eyes on Snake Kick. Skeeter. Skeeter. He's going to turn up to the fight. He's in on top of BZM, but BZM's able to get the face shift. So there'll be a buyback for nine. 33. Standing his ground against Yuragi. Yuragi ults for the TP out. He'll make it. No split. Not at the ready just yet. Nine has managed to hold back mind control, though. He's Dark Sphere's caught. Skeeter and 33 head across. They'll take mind control down. He does have the luxury of buyback available to him. How many times has Seb just echo slammed Thompson? <laughs> That's like the fifth or sixth time. Just really wants him dead. But they've both been kind of hunting each other. I think Thompson more so hunting. Here's the split at the ready. Tier four is unfortunate courier snipe as well because that BZM, I think he pretty much had the full octarine on the courier. There's oh a boy. Lot of gold that got knocked out of the game. Good cut, good eye, good call. And yeah, onto the tier fours with the primal split. Now they're starting to clear it though. That Earth Panda is starting to die a bit here from Yuragi's damage. The Wind Panda. Okay. He actually has the other one still in the back. Didn't see it. He'll be okay. How long on Roche? It's up. I'm gonna look to see Ooh, if they can find the fight first. Yeah, they're just going for it. Oh, Yuragi's showing himself. Okay, he's ready to get in with the split. Maybe see if he can find some sort of setup. The Boozin buddies are in. Seb, hiding in the trees. Grip from the side. They're going to look to jump straight away from Mike. Oh, the perfect grip. The dogs here immediately. Is there any further fight for OG to have here? Mind Control will buy back. BZM tries to turn towards Skeeter, but Skeeter's able to get the BKB off. Yuragi's caught in the middle of the fight here. Skeeter He's turns, in trouble. gets on top of the gyrocopter. Yuragi getting torn apart. The supernova is there. Can Yuragi survive? He cannot. Yuragi goes down. He'll buy back. Seb jumps in with the slam onto the two of them. Bring a snaking low, the glimmer capes out. Snaking's able to get out to the side. They're trying to look towards Skeeter with the cheese. Passed over. He heals up. Skeeter back up to full HP. Takes out Kit Rack. And now there's no buyback for the Phoenix. It's Another four split. versus five here on the attempted defense from OG. 33, he's ready to go with the ult once more when he needs to. Thompson beating into Yuragi. The damage too high. Skeeter cleans up the triple. Two dead on OG. No buybacks available. The tier fours are crumbling. Ultra kill for Skeeter. Give him PG, it. it's called giving the round. Oh. Nah, nine, he'll take it. Keep going, Skeeter. Oh, I can't say too last. Damn. What an aggressive game from Tundra. They never took their foot off the pedal. They did not.